Hi everyone, it's Mano Marks coming at you with a pre-DockerCon Docker tip. In this video, we're going to talk about the Docker Remote API. The Docker Remote API is a way for you to programmatically interact with Docker through code. This lets you do things like monitor what's going on in, the, in Docker, see what containers are running, see what nodes are running in your swarm, and uh, do things like build images, run images, anything that you want to do. Now let's take a quick look at the documentation. Okay, so you can see there's some pretty simple instructions in here, but what's really interesting, I want to show you the curl command, because you can just do this through curl, and then, you know, because of that, you can do anything that involves accessing a Unix socket when you're on Linux, for instance, uh, that will just... Uh, you know, send a HTTP request against uh, Docker and show you uh, some results. So for instance, here you can run a container, you can list and manage your containers, you can manage your images, which includes things like see what you have, but it also uh, includes things like um, pulling images and doing pretty much anything you can do with Docker, you can do through uh, the remote API, which means that you can embed it within your application. You can make an application front end to doing this. Okay, you can see here I've got a, a swarm, a two node swarm. You see I've got one worker, one manager, and it's running the example voting app. So you can see here, the different services. Now, take a look over here. I've got, ooh, that cool swarm visualizer. This is in my GitHub repo, Docker, uh, sorry, GitHub slash Mattomarks. And you can see here all the services and nodes are represented. Now, if I were to do something like drain a node, And here the node is drained. So this visualizer is a simple Node.js application that sends a request every second, an HTTP request to the sockets. And then you can see what is um, what is going on, and it updates all the nodes and it updates all of the um, all of the services that are running in the individual containers and tasks that are in there, as well as gets quite a bit of information. So you see it's got the actual image, the tag name, when it was updated, what its current status is, what its um, what the container ID would be, all that sort of thing. Okay, that's just a really quick tip, really quick intro. Check out the Docker Remote API in our documentation. Just search Docker Remote API on uh, Google and it'll turn up. And uh, if you have any questions about any of this or you want to learn more about any tip that we provide in this uh, pre-DockerCon Docker tip series, check out DockerCon itself. Come and visit us and ask us questions and learn more about it and connect with the thousands of people who will be there to, uh, to do the same thing. All right, thanks, bye.